With an election in the offing, it can sometimes feel as though we're all drowning in a sea of opinion polls. One says one thing, then five minutes later, another one comes out telling a completely different story. In general, though, the figures seem to be suggesting David Cameron's the man who'll get the keys to number 10, the Tories having been given a lead, albeit a small one, in most of the research. But this is the era of the tweet, and if you believe Twitter, then we could see either a small Labour majority or a hung parliament. The research has been done by Tweet. Minster, the group which collects, analyses and retweets various Westminster related updates. They've looked at two million messages, analysed their content and the number of followers each MP has. Here are the results. Now Labour are ahead with 35%. The Tories just a percent behind them on 34. The Lib Dems are on 22% and the other parties on 9. That 1% would give Labour a 14 seat majority in Parliament but as with all polls you've got to allow for a margin of error which would put us in the hung parliament territory. Now, this is a fascinating snapshot of the way Britain works in 2010, but anyone who takes Twitter as the oracle should beware. There's probably a lot of truth in the argument that many tweeters are fairly liberal-minded, and there's still a huge sector of the voting population who think a tweet is the noise a bird makes.